So far, I've presented Vunus focusing on individual parts, but really, it's an intense experience with so many different things happening all at once. Now the village is full. Every little hut has three or four artists working on sculptures, either faithful replicas of ancient Cypriot pottery or work in their own style that is inspired by Vunus. Turkish and English are the main languages spoken, but people are here whose native languages are Serbian, Italian, Latvian, Greek, and more. Unus is filled with the sound of people chatting and laughing. Today, Hassan Chanap and I sifted the ashes from last night's fire of olive wood and mixed them with water to make an alkali solution. Later, Hassan Chada and I worked on finishing molds for lost wax casting. Some of the ceramic artists joined us and made small models from wax so they could also be cast in bronze. While we were doing this, Ralph started another pit firing. Shainal was using his new raku kiln to make glass sculpture. Earlier, Ralph took some of the ceramic artists down to the ravine where they saw the clay and mineral deposits that were being used to recreate the Vunus pottery. Everywhere things are humming. It's exciting and full of activity. It's also peaceful. Even though everyone is working intensely, there's time to look up at the mountains and the evening sky. Everyone takes time to breathe and appreciate the beauty and unique experience of Vunus.